it's it's always the biggest thrill when it's family owned and and um, we bought his mother at the yearling sale oh yeah well quite a few years ago now and she, yeah and she had a fair few foals and I'd sort of given up on her but dad pressed on for another couple and Teddy was the second last one so it worked out all right. He was an owner all the way through and then um, Michelle's dad he trains him so just, we both got involved like that way as far as our interest went but um, yeah and it obviously dad's provided us with a lot of horses to, to train over the years so yeah that's been mainly the focus from him. Oh I just think it's um it's a great experience for obviously Sean and the horse um, you know we've never had um, well both of us together we haven't had one that's probably good enough to go away um, and also you, you got to think of it you got to be in it to win it so He's up there, they've got some really, really good horses he's got to race. Um, but we know with Teddy, he'll um, he'll get the job done. He'll probably go the best he can. And if he gets there, he gets there. As long as he puts a good run in, like, we're stoked. We're really, really happy. In, leading narrowly, Dazzle Me is a big danger. Misty Creek third, then Chamonix, better than Popsy. Teddy Disco in for the fight. Knuckles down, scores. Teddy Disco, Teddy Disco, Dazzle Me, Misty Creek. Teddy's probably the the best one we've had as in confirmation, um, doesn't wear much gear, attitude. Um, so we sort of struck the struck the jackpot with him and he's just he's as crazy as when we we're um, sort of breaking him in he had a mate that he, he couldn't keep up with at all and that horse never ended up racing and Teddy's gone on to do what he did. He sorta of, Yeah, he wasn't even when he went to the educations he was only going because his mate was going and then that didn't happen and I thought if I took him to the education on the Friday, he could have the weekend off, and he just sort of kept progressing. From that day on, we were always happy with him. Oh, around the farm, a big teddy bear. Um, no, he's as, he's as cruisy as, but um, once he had his first education, something just switched in him, and um, yeah, he turned into like an instant racehorse. Graduates of the Rickliffe Yearling Sale chasing the big bucks on offer. How much is left in the tank with Teddy? Teddy swings into the lane, margin five metres. He's going for it right here, right now. R11 Art, no bullets to fire. Roses are sweet back to the inside, but Teddy Disco, Teddy Disco too good. Wins it well, beating R11 Art. Teddy Disco takes it out. The group one, $100,000 feature. Sean Grimsey and Nathan Dawson. Teddy Disco. Wins it well. Anyone would consider Captain Ravishing the benchmark for this race with um, Leap to Fame not going. Um, I think that's the one everyone's probably most most fearing, but he's raced. Like he's raced Mahomes and he's raced Ultimate Ronnie before and he's he's beaten them home in races, they've beaten him home in races, so you're sort of you're around the mark for sure.